So the crypt trials have returned. So they were down for a few days. The devs had, a, I mean, there was a lot of bugs with this update and the devs did update it. So it is back. So we've been waiting for this thing to come back. You can now do it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete all three stages of the crypt trials. Also a quick update on this kit. I found out and shout out to Crystal Cream on this. The devs did confirm if you kill someone that's really well geared, maybe they have like better armor upgrades, better sword upgrades and such. Your skeletons that you spawn with this kit are going to be more powerful in those attributes. So if you kill someone that has like really good armor, they're going to be better armored and such. Pretty cool. By the way, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm like 2,000 away from 500,000 subscribers. Let's go. All right. So one thing to note, you can create a party, by the way. And I would highly recommend setting this up as a party. Like don't just go in by yourself and public queue. If you do it this way, he's got four keys and he doesn't have to use his keys to um, play. So otherwise you got to get like other people to like host for you if you run out of keys. All right. So after you queue, you're going to get teleported to the server. You you can see look at this, this is awesome now one thing to note you can only queue in with two other players you can't uh queue in with a full squad okay so you're still gonna get a random i'm guessing this is just so you can't like fully carry or something maybe to make it a little harder i'm not really sure why they do this but you're what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here you're gonna um open the gate with this like blue glowing thing just hold, hold down f there we go you're gonna notice the boss is gonna spawn out of the grave the grave digger and then we're going to go over here. We're going to cut a left. By the way, don't um, try to dig any of these graves. Don't dig. Make sure you tell your team, don't dig. There's a sword. We're going to come over here to the church. Just to the left, you're going to come all the way up here. Um, there are three phases, by the way. There's another one in here. So we got a witch, we got a witch hat. Void the grave digger. The witch hat is on the other side, by the way. But the clue will come up. You just need to pass by it. And there should be another clue over here. It should be on like a kind of like a gravestone like pillar thingy there's fish bones so sword hat and fish bones you got to remember these there we go um the location of the symbols for this one does change a lot the others don't really change at least in the times i've played but that one might be on a different pillar so fish bones hat and sword so you got to run over here come back to the graveyard make sure you know where the grave digger guy is so you don't get killed so it's the witch hat yeah it's right here so it's this one we're going to go and grave dig now everyone's gonna get teleported over here and they're gonna teleport with you into the next phase. So now we go to a maze. It's gonna show a little miniature version of the maze and you're gonna wanna navigate that to, um, I believe a blue orb. All right, so right here, by the way, you can actually be the light guider. So one player will actually guide the light away from the monster on the screen. It's not gonna be me. So it looks like uh, it is gonna be Bucket. All right, here we go. Now we got the light. Okay, so Bucket is guiding this light. So one player will guide us. And so you just need to kind of follow along on this, follow the light. This is really important because if you go by yourself without the light, you could run into the boss. There is a boss in this maze. So one of our players are guiding us through the maze. I'm not showing you that process. I might try to do another video or I might try to record this um, section where you actually are the one guiding. Uh, make up your mind, man. Oh no. Why is he having us go this way now, dude? Oh no, what? Dude, what? Wait, what? Oh gosh, dude. He just, oh man. He just sent us right to the boss. So let's get back. Okay. He wants me to go this way. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think he knows what he's doing, dude. The heck. He's trying to get us killed. <laughs> Going this way. He's got to keep us away from the boss with this light. This is a pretty cool game, man. It's a really cool experience. Going this way. Keep following the light. Got to go this way. Hopefully, we're getting closer. Go around these guys. Our teammate died. Our other teammate died. This is why it's really important that you understand this and you have a good teammate. If teammate doesn't know how to do the light thing, you're kind of done. You wasted an entire round. So I'm glad it's a, a teammate that knows what they're doing. If you want to troll your teammates and make them die, then you could guide them right into the boss. <laughs> That'd be so messed up. Like, can you imagine just queuing this constantly and just ruining everyone's day? Get off me. All right, we're going to go teleport through. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick how this whole maze process works. Um, before I show you the next phase, I just wanna show you how the guiding light thing works. But after this, typically you wouldn't go straight to guiding the maze again. You would actually go into the next phase, but I wanna show you this real quick so you know how it works. All right, all right. So here you, you can see I'm the like the guiding light. So you can lead them. You gotta just kinda make sure they can see your light. And you wanna avoid the boss. So you can see the, there's like the boss models over there. You want to avoid those and you want to just keep up with them. Like don't like go too fast because you can go way faster than them. Just kind of guide them along. There's a boss right there. You can see the skull. 
So you just want to avoid those. You might want to get in like a voice chat with your team. If they're expecting me to troll them. I'm not going to troll them. Keys are expensive, man. We're going to give them a nice shortcut here. There's lots of ways. So it's not like a hard maze, okay? You just want to avoid the um, bosses. And there we go. Right into the blue orb. All right, we're going to Crypt Escape again. Open up. This one's pretty easy. All right, we got two right here. See the two ghosts? There's one right there and two right here. This means two of us need to be on this one to open the gates. Open. There we go. Now right here, you're going to see some solid platforms. Don't jump on those. You want to jump on the um, transparent ones. This one, avoid the boulders. We're going to cross after these two go by. You're going to cross over. Just get across. Oh, 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 that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Now you don't get killed, insta-killed by the boulders, but man, that was close. That was real close. Okay, you're going to go up this um, rope here, climbing up. And now we're going to do the final trial. This one's pretty hard, okay? So this is like the fourth time we've done this boss. So we're going we're gonna to definitely win this time. So just avoid these red like circles on the ground when he shoots you. He's also going to do this. Don't, don't get like too scared of this thing. It does do some damage. You just need to make sure you don't die after on something else. But it's not going to kill you. Unless you're like really low, it might kill you. And you're going to definitely do a lot more damage if it's just like you and another player um, or if you're by yourself. But um, just keep running. Okay, so right here, he's going to have a symbol on this rock. It is going to be the hands. So you need to find the hands. They're over here. And once that goes away, then you can start doing damage to him again. Ow. When the ground is green, be careful, by the way. You do not want to be on the ground when it's green. Basically, toxic fog. Keep running. Ow. Ow, dude. Okay, now we got the walls. So now we got to go through the um, wall gaps. So it's kind of like uh, the dragon in Islands, if you played that before. Now he's just draining me. Now we got another wall coming the other direction. This boss is pretty challenging, I have to say. It's not too bad, but he's kind of challenging if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so we got the spider. So we need spider. He's over here. See, the ground is green currently. You do not want to be on the ground when it's green, so don't go down there. Ow. Now we got another gap through the walls. A lot going on at once. Keep an eye on for those walls. There's another gap over here. Go through this one first. Man, he's brutal. Okay, we got another gap in the wall. Another gap over here. I feel like these are getting faster. Should have a platform coming up pretty soon here. Dude, he's fast. Got another wall coming up here. We got double walls. Let's get through this one. Okay, we got the platforms. We got to look for the ghosts on the platforms. We need to go over here. Let's run to it. Take the damage if you have to. Let's get up on here. All right, we're good. So you got it. This is very important. See the two ghosts? Got to make sure you're on the right platform or else you're going to die to that green fog. Very important. Okay, we know that we have another gap here. Let's go to this side. This boss is a pain, dude. Keep hitting them. Just avoid these. He's really low. Keep shooting him. Almost done. Oh, he's almost done. All right, we got it. We got it. You win. Happy Halloween. We did it, dude. We get the fireworks. Awesome. We get the crypt kit. And we also get the uh, emote, I believe. I'm not sure what this is. You beat the trials, dude. Let's go. Shout out to Mr. Pro Killer for giving some tips on this. He definitely carried. This is awesome, man.
We got a title called Crypt Master. We also have this emote over here. Now where's my 10,000 Robux? What a nerd. GG's. Team Explorers wins. What does that mean? <laughs> so hopefully that helped you with getting the crypt trial completed. You know, again, just run around, avoid the walls. The most important thing inside the boss trial is going to be making sure you keep an eye on those little player counts and the clue so you get on the correct stones. Because if you get on the wrong stones, uh, rip, you're going to die. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more Bedwars videos. Until next time, peace.